Okay, so I figured out how to do what I want to get done. So I'll get myself from two to four to use the gym and the laundromat here. So you have to sign up in increments. My hair doesn't want to curl right here. I think I'm using the wrong. I brought, I don't know what I was doing when I brought the hair stuff. Like, I think I wanted to leave Aaron the stuff I knew he used every day. So I didn't take any for myself because I brought texture cream and surfer hair, which is something I don't use. <sighs> Anyway, my hair is doing this, so I got to go get new hair stuff for over here because it's different. The climate and stuff is different, but I know what works in my hair in California is like shine pomade. So I got to go find that. I went to Target yesterday, but I couldn't find it. So today's just got to be a better day for this shit. <laughs> so here's something cool. The Planet Fitness I signed up for, uh, no one uses the squat racks at all. Like, maybe two boys were in there using it with me, but, like, no one uses it, so. I had a lot of fun just now on the squat rack. <laughs> I did all the stuff that I usually don't get time to do or that I don't get an opportunity to do because everyone's always, like, in it at the shoes. So that was really cool. I did Aaron's leg workout, which is a bunch of uh, split squats, and now I can't walk right, so I hope I don't get abducted because I won't be able to fight him off. Um, <laughs> that was fun. I need to go get some pre-workout and post-workout or the one that you drink when you're working out. Um, <laughs> okay, I feel like I got everything that I need to make me feel like a regular Josh in another city. So I got some pre-workout, some mid-workout, and then the lady was being really nice to me. She's like, do you want a shaker bottle? And I was like, I'm good. And she's like, it's on me. And I was like, yes, I want the one that looks like Sriracha. She's like, oh my God, you're so funny. And she's like, go to the one on Nipomo for um, Nipomo Anytime Fitness. She's like, it's a bit of a drive if you're in Santa Maria, but that one's so much nicer than the other one. The other one's really small. And I was like, you got it. That's what I need those little helpful hints, helpful tips, honey. And she's like, oh my god, you're so funny! I was like, oh god, she needs a gay best friend. But whatever, <laughs> on my way home now. So the girl earlier told me to go to New Pomo um, to do the Anytime Up Here. So I actually just got a call from them. They said we're staffed from 10 to whatever with the lunch from 12 to 1. So whenever you want to come by, come by and sign up. And I'm like, bet. So now I'm on my way to go sign up for this gym. And the only reason I want this gym of, over Planet Fitness is because it has the machines that I know how to use. And I think it's really important whenever you first go somewhere new that you don't hurt yourself. Because I, I feel like I hurt myself at Vasa because I didn't know how to use any of the barbell stuff. Like that's Aaron's realm of reality. So like I didn't know how to use any of it. So I went to go use it and I hurt my back. Or no, I think I hurt my chest or something goofy. So instead of doing that, and I know Planet Fitness is super affordable. It's everywhere you go, literally everywhere you go. So you can do most of your stuff, but for like my uh, rehab stuff for my back, part of it is my chest. Cause if I have a weak chest, my back's gonna get over strong because I know how to do all the back stuff in Planet Fitness. And I was noticing that today cause I couldn't do this one. I couldn't do this one or this one. So I was like, oh shoot, my back's gonna get really strong and then it's gonna get hurt, and then I'm gonna be all crunched up again. So, because of that, that's one of my biggest reasons to go get my gym membership, is to make sure that I can rehab my body, which is really important for me. So that's that. On my way to New Pomo to go to this uh, Anytime Fitness. Um, so I don't even know, I guess it's like Rio Rancho, I guess, I don't know. The girl at the, the Nutri Shop wasn't super, forthcoming with information but she was cool i liked her anyway here i go <laughs> yay okay so i'm in nipomo uh, nipomo feels like rio rancho um the lady was really nice i get nervous whenever there's a blonde woman with darker skin than me and whiter teeth than the sun like telling me anything so i was like okay <laughs> okay and she was just like on and on and on and on and on about whatever and i was just like okay okay caitlin okay caitlin i don't think i'm supposed to go left but i'm gonna 
Uh, um, so this place feels very much like Rio Rancho. Um, yeah, very much. But a lot, also a lot of those like neck beards, and they got that girl, just like that girl, where it's like blonde, darker. What is that? Spray tan or bronzed? Blonde, bronzed, and bright ass white teeth. Talking like that's a lot, lot, lot. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> all right, but it's all right. It's all right over here. I guess I don't know. I'm gonna look around a little bit because I'm hungry. But who? Look at these little fancy hotels. Senior living at the Oaks. I'll go live there. Three meals a day. Someone to clean up my poop. Sold. <laughs> Ida, look at the mountains. They're so pretty. Here, listen. Those are the mountain cows. It's so pretty over here. Ain't got shit to do, but it's pretty. Okay, so I'm here. Um, there's like a little snippet on one of the emails they sent us saying like, don't go to the wrong place. If you go to the wrong place, that's your fault. So I'm at the right place, I hope, because I'm not a permanent employee, I'm a traveler. So they want us to go to this HR building, which is fine. Um, just gotta tell us where to go and we'll go. But I went and I got Starbucks. And I guess I ordered a latte and I didn't realize it. I was like, can I get three shots of espresso? And like, she's like, well, I'm gonna have to charge you for a latte. And I was like, okay. And I didn't know that. Cause it's usually my other drink is like iced. So whatever. So I am currently headed towards uh, this little casita that I might try to rent. She said that she's been holding it for me, but I think all the new travelers already came through and they all have their housing. Um, from what I just heard, like everyone's already in their housing. I'm just like, that's, that's cool. Seems like a lot of faith you're putting in us. In 1,000 feet, use the left lane to take the ramp to US 101 North. Um, Cause they seem pretty like okay with us being here, but I don't know. I don't really trust nothing until I see it. So I think I'm in Sugar Ditch. These are like all new homes. So I'm assuming someone just built this because of the nursing boom. It's a very rural area. So I'm assuming that's what this is. But I have no idea. Because it just seems very rural. Oh, it looks maybe, maybe like a golf course. It looks cute though. So I'm having the worst time, so I think I need to go to the gym. Um, I ended up having to quit my staff job again. And the last time I was like, well, I'm not getting what I want. Like, why am I staying? Why am I being abused? Why am I staying to where I'm being abused? And so I was leaving and then they're like, well, we'll let you have your way. And I was like, okay. So then they're like, ah, oh, just kidding. We still need you to do this. So it's like, oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I understand short staffing and all that that entails. Like, I am up here with you guys. I understand what's happening. But at the same time, because I'm up here with you guys, I know that you could hide a nurse if you wanted to. I know that I know what happens. So it's just like, you know what? Instead of doing this the wrong way, I'm gonna give you my notice again, effective today. I'm not on the schedule, so I can't, I literally can't affect any of the metrics right now, except attrition rates. And I'm gonna do this before I hit the other unit because it's not their fault you guys can't play along. So, it is what it is. I hate being that person because you never know where you'll want to end up. But at the same time, like I'm not gonna get, just let myself get abused because for what, for what, for why? Like there's no reason. So it sucks and I feel really bad. I feel relief right now, but I feel really bad still at the same time because 
I don't ever want to leave anyone in the lurch. But like I said, I'm not on the schedule, so I'm not leaving them in the lurch like that. I'm just taking away one of their nurses. You know, like I'm just taking away one of the nurses. <sighs> this is so dumb. Well, oh, it is what it is. There's goats, little tiny goats, eating up all the goat stuff. <laughs> So I know like I'm going through the most right now and it's probably all my fault, whatever, it's fine. I'm the architect of my own worst nightmares. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like I'm getting jerked around. So I ended up contacting my union rep and our union isn't super powerful, but they have helped me out of jams before. So I was like, I'm gonna call the union because HR is not there to help me. HR is there to facilitate stuff like this or to help the company and I understand that but I still needed a paper trail so I looped them in um, so I contacted the union they said that I have a case and that um, I need to be tight-lipped about what's going on they won't contact anyone before talking to me but it's important that I get a paper trail and I told her about all the emails I have and everything like that and she's like okay and then when she first talked to me I was like oh I think you helped me last time and she's like oh I'm not sure and she said what's your last name and I was Amada and she said oh we did help you last time and you didn't sign up for the union and I was like fine I'll sign up send me the link they're taking all my money they won't give me my last check and she's like we'll see about that and I was like take your union dues from it honey I just want to be eligible for rehire and at this point they're messing with me so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens it's farm it's corn farm corn look at it a rolling hill Ooh, I wonder what that is a temple it's so spooky out here it's all like foggy I like this really weird not to be like anything but like this really weird white lady walking around she scared the shit out of me Earthworms. 